Hey there, guys. It is 22.03 here in the Pacific. I just got done doing a long channeling. Um, it's not really a full-on meditation. It's really different what happened this time around. Um, guided to wait until the evening to go into a private meditation in the bath. And then um, after working with my you know, body, doing my own thing, uh, Gaia came in. And so this next recording that we're going to get into just goes into Gaia speaking. Uh, and then she talks for a while. I have no idea right now how long. Um, uh, and then after that, then Archangel Metatron comes in to do the DMT, uh, activation with you. And then, um, I won't, after that, it's um, Michael comes in for a short spell, and then myself, and that's pretty much it. So Gaia does speak for the bulk of this video. Um, just a couple of things to uh, take with you or to get ready with you. You can do this in the bathtub. That would be great if you have a bathtub, if you fit comfortably in a bathtub, and you can be in there um, for uh, the totals about with this is going to be about 80 uh 89 minutes, 90 minutes. So it's about an hour and a half. Um, and so, or just wherever you're going to be comfortable, but you want to have crystals handy, whatever crystals that you're guided to use. So just go with what you're guided with. Just look over your crystals and whatever you're guided to pick up and have around you. And then also at least one candle, um, for later on in the, in the meditation. So here we go, you guys. Happy Equinox. Um, there's some explanation here through Gaia about why we had to wait and all that and why it is what it is and very different than what we've done before. But I go as guided and this is how we were told to do it today. I hope you guys um, had a great Equinox and enjoy this video coming up. It is, again, a lot of messages and talk and a heart to heart from Gaia about the equinox, about herself, about what's going on right now, and then you get into it with Metatron. Happy equinox, guys. I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoy this, um, these messages, and please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Hello, dear ones. This is Gaia. We come to you today in a different out of turn way from how we have been doing things. I guess you can say this is a theme for things to come. It is also very late in the day in the Pacific where we are coming to you from currently it is 2020 on the 23rd it was necessary to let the day pass before getting into space together here. We are coming to you from the bathtub. It was necessary to wait for the day to pass, to let the energies of this most momentous equinox take form and shape over each and every one of you, individually and collectively. It was important to not interrupt this flow. And we know that many of you were also attending other meditations, and that is fine. Thank you for participating in the ones that you did participate, for those of you who did. You are part of the collective and 
every way that you work with the light, how you are guided, is part of the whole of what we are doing and accomplishing. And this is why we gave you that time and that space. Not only for you, but for this one too. Me, myself, Archangel Gabriel, Infinity, sharing the same space and body, coming to you to speak. It is important that the one that you all know most intimately as Infinity is able to carry out normal functions of our life as well, at least to a certain degree. Life for her is very different than life for most people. It is necessary for it to be this way. However, there are times in which, given the collective energies, it is best for all, including her, to let the energies take shape in the lives that we are touching, reaching, and speaking from. Also, it is important to be in this space that we are currently in. We are coming to you again, as I say, from the bathtub of where we reside. The energies have been very intense lately. You all have felt this in many, many ways, such a squeeze as if going through a tunnel that you don't quite fit in. Trust me, me as the great mother holding and carrying you all, going through these transitions myself. It has been quite intense. And this is why we've had to be very strategic when we've come into these spaces. The energies have been very intense when I come in to speak and enter the body, take over if you will. It is a beautiful relationship that we have together. But it does take a toll on the human. The energies are so very intense with myself, with the vessel, the human, with the, as you could say, leading soul, that would be Gabriel at this point. However, because I do come quite frequently, speak and share space with you all publicly, but also privately, us together. Many gatherings, if you will, that we spend in private integrating and working, working in astral, working with her in the 3D space that she lives in. It is quite energetically challenging, especially during these last several weeks. Also, everybody else feeling this so intently in their own ways. So, dear beautiful ones, family, my beloved babies, collectively, hello I say to you. You have done so much growing and work of your own to get you here. These last nine months of this most momentous year has not gone without so much happening, has it not? revelations, understandings, situations and experiences that you could not even have imagined. Isn't this true? Spend a moment to reflect on this, please.
take yourself back to the beginning of the calendar year, the one that most of the society runs on, where January 1st is the beginning, however. Please be certain to know this is not the beginning of my year. My year begins in March, the first equinox of the year. Anyway, dear ones, think back to your beginning. This is how you operate, so let's not deviate. Think about January 1st. 2019. Think about how you spent the night before. For some very, very party atmosphere, many, many people gathering together. And then for some of you, completely alone. And that is the way you liked it. In the past, there have been times where you have spent that day, that night, in solitude or in despair of some kind because a year had passed and a year was coming and you were still not in the place you longed to be even though you did not know where that was. Now, 9232019, the equinox, the second. As we turn over into the last quarter, Going into the phase for you, my dears, stargates before we enter the ones. All of these things coinciding, but it is important for you to take stock, to remember, to take inventory of where you've been. Think about where you are in this divine now moment. Feel in your heart the shifts and changes, the clearing, the healing, the awareness, the understanding that you did not have before, back then, on 1-1-2-0-1-9. We started this year with a very intense stargate, super moon, beautiful. Yes, most definitely from eclipses, solstice, full moons, new moons, my dears. We have been through much together. Your lives have changed dramatically. Your awareness for so much on a different level. It is so beautiful to see. I want to congratulate you, celebrate you, I reach out my arms to hold each and every one of you so tight to give you the love your great mother has for each and every one of you. I have been with you at each of your births, through each of your trials, through each exhilaration. Have I not been with you always? Not only in this life, dear ones, but all the ones where you have come here before. I thank you all so much. There are so many of you who come from distant, beautiful brothers and sisters of mine, from neighborhoods away, far, far away, come here to be with me, your great beloved aunt, becoming your mother as you are born here. And I thank you all so much those of you considered star seeds, galactics, those in body and those not, those in co-current lives, 
those of the High Council working day and night tirelessly to unshackle the chains of oppression that so many of my beautiful babies live tied to, yet so many do not know. And even those of you who do, still it's difficult to unbind yourself. It is difficult to change your way of thinking and believing, of understanding. We know this. We are forever patient with you, of course. It is you who watches time, who become impatient with the process. You must understand everything does definitely, my dear, beautiful ones, happen for a reason. Every single thing, even the things that seem negative, destructive, chaotic, the words that you use like horrible, bad, everything is connected to everything else. And dear ones, at this time of the equinox, it is very important for you all to understand there is so much that you do not see you do not know that still you hold line for miles and miles in every direction threads space and time connected to each other all wrapped around infinitely through all of creation and back to our beautiful mother father god where we all came from We have these beautiful reset days in creation. They are made, designed, and constructed for a reason. Just as you would restart your computer. It is the same concept when all the electricity stops just for a moment, entering the sign, the constellation of Libra, balancing the energies today on this day. No coincidence, my dears, all of this happening at the exact right moment in time. The great cosmic reset this one, however, unlike any of the past. This one designed specifically to catch the energies that were sent from millennia ago. This perfect point in time activated now. We are beyond the tipping point. It has happened. I can affirm and guarantee to you all we have entered the new dawn for myself and for you all. No, it has not been easy, my dears, and I guarantee you what is to come will most certainly surprise so many people, individually and collectively. Awarenesses, understandings, the sifting through of what is dark to pull out what is light and to shine a light on everything. Upon my beautiful body that is not in direct high vibration with where I am now. I guarantee you all, you will see in the coming days and weeks and months and leading into the new year, 2020, the time in which we started this, 
I started speaking to you significantly, definitely. We enter 2020. It may seem to you all like it is not yet too near, but trust me when I tell you all, you are already there working in that time. Maybe not in the physical where you are now, but in the astral. When you sleep, when you nap, You are planting the seeds energetically. What is to come? You there in your physical bodies are like little guppies, <laughs> yet even formed any type of feet or arms or legs or anything at all like this. Truly, this is what you are right now unaware of so much creation and happening around you in your small little bubbles so many yet unaware have not yet plugged in and made the connections but at this time there is a great shift there is a great new horizon taking place no matter where in the world you are the Sun will feel different and for many of you already you are beginning to experience this the energies upon myself and my body and the energies coming to me from the great Sun our soul Think of what we call our sun in so many languages that you speak. Soul. 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 The soul of my life sings to me day and night, no matter which way I turn always with me, my soul shining bright upon me and my body. Do you think it is any different for you? Your soul shining upon you, lighting you up, carrying through your days? Soul, that is what the soul is. Your bright, beautiful light shining to your body, lighting you up. The difference is, dear ones, as you live upon me, you can see my soul. You feel my soul. My soul is your soul, just bigger. And you are of me, your great mother. As I said, as I always say, my children, my babies, that is what you are. My soul shines upon me so I can live every single day. My soul shines upon me so I can live every single day. My soul shines upon me so I can live every single day. My soul shines upon me so I can live every single day. We are one. And my moon taking in the light, shining upon me day and night, my beautiful soul. My shadow side, just like you have one. I have one too. You see, we are not that different. I am much bigger and I carry you and I've lived so much longer than you in this one lifetime and I will continue to for a very, very long time. I will know you in this lifetime and the next and the next and the next and the next if you are to be here with me. 
to come back. And so many of you will. So many of you do. You know how much I love you. We are a great big family, all of us together. Do you feel your soul shining upon you, inside of you? Do you feel my soul when you stand outside, even in the rain? My soul never stops being bright and light and hot and shining my soul. I am here alive with you, my soul shining upon you in every single moment, amplifying your soul, your soul. From our mother, father, God, their soul, they are soul. That is what they are. They're great. They're central. They are all of creation wrapped up into their soul. And we came from them. What is known as fractals. I and you and everything. Soul. That is what we are in so many different shapes and sizes and forms. The energy of soul. That soul energy can be changed and manipulated in different ways, unfortunately. Darkness can shadow the soul, the light, even my great beautiful soul that shines upon you every single day. Yes, you can live and walk and talk, but for so many of you, you don't know. There is a shadow where the sun, the soul, that warmth, cannot reach. For so long, this has gone unnoticed within you as a family, as a collective, as humanity. There has only been those who have been put in bodies that had already known this and understood it from the very beginning, continued to work with it, to help transmute it, to help others deal with changing this aspect of your reality. It residing in the body, the body vehicle, taking a shape and form energetically with the body and the natural soul energy, but casting a shadow in places so the soul light could not reach, making the human grow dark, in some cases so very, very dark feeding into the darkness more, causing the human to do things, bad things, horrible things, things to each other, things to beautiful, innocent animals, things to me, destructive things to my body, hurtful things. Of course, I am the great mother and I do recover. Time to me is so different than time to you and what may ail me, I take care of most definitely. I heal myself. I always have. I always will. Regardless of what you all may do to me, carelessly or on purpose, as some of the dark ones do. 
what I want you to know and what I will tell you again and again to never ever despair for me your great mother never feed in to the energies collectively that are being churned so greatly at this time to be in fear so much fear surrounding me and my body and how I will take care of you all what will happen will there be floods and will the air be so bad and will there be uncontrollable fires and so on and so forth I will tell you now remind you and educate you if you do not know not all the weather that you see and not all of what would be categorized as natural events upon my body and what you may witness as weather is from me or of me yet I must deal with it much of these very intense happenings from fires to floods to storms to earthquakes to volcanoes all of which at one time or another have been manipulated. I did not have a hand in. I have a hand in dealing with these things, knowing that they are coming and now working with some of you there incarnate and of course us here me, myself, and body. As we've said before, there are so many of us divine beings in the High Council working in different aspects, in different planes and dimensions, simultaneously, co-currently. Regardless of what may come that is dark, man-made or otherwise, these things are merely inconveniences, things to deal with, to handle, but they are not things that will destroy me or you ever. Of course, there will be casualties. It is impossible not to, but everyone has a role and a destiny and a mission and a place in the fabric of all that is. We cannot look upon anybody else's destiny in life and say that it was wasteful in any way. That is missing the point. From bird to tree, to human, to dolphin, to guppy, all have their role to play. All is important and I revere every single life upon me. From the tiniest of ants and gnats to the biggest, most powerful animals that you can imagine. To you humans, every single one of you regardless of how much soul is bright in your own vessel, in your own life. I know you. I know who you are. I know the strength and the courage and the depth of your souls, regardless of the energies that may be keeping you from those very things. I know. Regardless of what some of you may do to each other and myself and like I said, my beautiful animals. All of this is a learning process. 
We work together to evolve more than you know. I hope that you will understand this more and more as you awaken to your true self, your remembrances of who you truly are, what you are doing here, why you are here. At this time, dear ones, it is the great reset energetically. Again, just like restarting your computer, that moment where no energy is cursing through anything. And then there it is again power, energy, when everything turns on and it was clearer and better than before, is it not? Gone through a time where it was so tight, squeezing you through what is happening, so many of you have wondered. Getting sick, this has been the case for many of you this last month. So many attributing it to that time of the year when I guarantee you, my dear ones, the time of the year is simply energies resetting and you needing to detoxify your bodies to come into greater balance and alignment. Balance, it is all about balance. Remember, you must have balance in order to live your best life, to be in alignment. You must be in balance. Think of any vehicle that you are in ever. It must be in balance or you will not go very far, very safely, will you? No, it must be in balance or you feel it, do you not? Turbulence in the sky if you are not in balance wobbling in your seats in your vehicles if your tires are not in balance, right? In boats and ships if the oceans that you are on are not in balance. Yes, you most certainly feel this. The key is to create balance always in your life within you to know to have faith and trust and love and flow let it flow be in your now moment know that from this point forward you are always moving in the direction of evolution of remembrance of who you are I come to you today to remind you of these things, to welcome you to a new place in time, to feel my soul. It will feel different. More of my soul light can come in. Yes, at times that means more heat. Just as you feel more heat in your heart center, my heart center will feel more heat too. Transmuting energies from long ago is still erupting. I am a body, please remember. I breathe like you breathe. I move like you move. Through the seasons, I take us all. And now we turn the page into a new place and space. One we have been working on for so long, so very long, especially for those of you who keep coming back again and again. And what is time? impossible to measure, is it not? You all think, my dear ones, 
that you are measuring time, that time is measurable. Where did time start? Here? Elsewhere? When I was born? When the first little beautiful birth of creation took shape upon my body? Is that when time started here? Was it when someone specific was born? When did time begin? These are questions that, let me clarify for you, my dear ones, really is not important and impossible to explain. And that is why it is not important. What you need to be in awareness of and focus on and channel your energy to is every new day feeling your own soul tapping in with us listening exploring going where you are guided receiving the messages taking yourself places where you can be healed and cleared in all the different ways that we make it available to you. Now is the time to do this. And these next few weeks and months before we head into 2020, think of these next few weeks and months as a catapult into the next time. We are entering a definite, heightened awareness in time, a new paradigm, a shift in creation, in my evolution, in my life. And because you are all here, you are a part of that. We are all entering a new place, birthing a new existence for all of creation. What is happening here is being felt and seen and watched by every neighborhood, by all of our families. You, family, dear ones, have come to me like we have talked about to help, to explore, to heal, to guide others, those who came before, those who come again. I am with you all. I know you all. I love you all. Whether you originated here or come back again and again and again no matter what you are you are my babies if you are incarnate in a body i consider you my babies you may have co-current lives elsewhere where my brothers or sisters consider you their babies too we can all share you, just like a family. All babies in a family together, we look after each other. Siblings, aunts, uncles, great big family, family circle, soul family. You incarnate in soul groups upon my body because it is large. However, at this place in space and time, you all know how easy it is to connect with each other over great distances. It is not necessary to be face to face any longer to share information. Not only that, as time goes on, you will be more psychic and telepathic. You will be able to connect more freely without the use of technology. This is what you are all looking forward to. Even though so many of you do not believe that this is possible, even in your own lifetimes, it most certainly is. 
at least with the ones that closest to you and with us, your divine counterparts who come to you to share space and to guide you, please know you all have vast helpers, family you cannot see but are with you always. You would not be there alone. Even if you feel alone at times, you are never alone. I am always with you. So are your beautiful guardians, the angels. I consider them my brothers and sisters. Some of which, like this one, whom I speak through, are there incarnate. There are many of you, in fact. More and more of you awakening. Remember, none of you have fallen. None of you have ever fallen. The angelics, you chose to be born here. You chose to come here to be with me, to work and live and love and heal with me. Never fallen. You came to help, to live, to love, to explore. You came on a mission to do what needed to be done, to help even if it felt so slowly over lifetimes to help eradicate oppression and darkness, to eradicate murder, genocide, to eradicate control one over the other. Slowly these things have changed. Yes, there is much still happening, but please remember, please know not all of what you are told and what you see, even on the monitors in which you think you see reality. Much is contrived, much is not real. There is more fantasy in your reality than you are aware of. So much more. Not everything is as bad as the darkness may try to get you all to believe. What do you know? Where have you been? What do you see for yourself? Where is the energy coming from to fuel your understanding and your ideas? Is it from inside or from outside of yourself? Even as you hear me speak, this is outside of yourself and you may and must check in with the inside of yourself. Feel in my energy. Feel the authenticity. This is something you can only know from the inside, not the outside. It is not something that anybody outside of you can tell you what is real or genuine or otherwise. If it is real that somebody can hold the essence and the energy and the awareness of what you know to be a planet, trust me, I have and I do come into body more often than you are all aware. Why would I not? It is about perspective, understanding, communication, connection. I do not only come in this way. I come in many, many ways to be in and of my own body. Is it that far-fetched? something as complex as what you know me to be. That in itself, think of it. As you look out as far as you can see, 
trying to find others like me? We all have our counterparts. But for souls, lives, beings like myself, we live a very different type of existence. Imagine what it would be like to care for so many like I do and myself to be connected to so very much all at the very same time. I know for so many of you it is impossible to comprehend. It is rather large. I am rather large. And this is why it is necessary to get very small. I hope you understand that. Now at this time, dear ones, I thank you again for being here, for listening to me share, help you understand, to help you connect with yourself, with me, with all of creation, with Mother, Father, God, and it is necessary for me to go we have work to do and I have been here long enough I have shared with you what I needed to share please know dear ones how much I love you please know that the coming days and weeks and months are going to be filled with so much happening but because you have been through what you have been through, it won't feel so harsh. Remember, you are in charge of time in your own existence and world. Remember that you are able to connect with your soul. Remember, you will feel mine every day when you look upon the sun. Know what it is my soul lighting me up, lighting you up. Without my soul, none of us would be here. My soul, like your soul, will never, ever die. Hello, dear ones. Thank you for your patience. It is I, Archangel Metatron. Coming in to share space with my beloved sister, 
Gabriel. Dear ones, I come to you today to take you deep inside of yourself. We are to do what is known as the DMT activation. Working with your third eye and your entire structure physically and energetically, your Merkaba. As was instructed in the beginning of this video, please, if you do not have your crystals in hand, take them in hand now. The ones you were guided to gather and have at your disposal around you, Take them in hand now. If you have had your eyes closed while you have been listening to Gaia, please, at this time, gently open your eyes and as you were instructed in the beginning of this video, have your eyes meet the candlelight that you have going. Gently open your eyes and focus on the candlelight. Take very nice, long and slow, deep breaths, family. Each and every one of you think to connect with Mother Gaia. You have heard her voice talking about her soul and your soul and where you are all going now together. We are here with you to guide you to make this journey easier each and every day. This is what our beloved sister Gabriel is doing there incarnate, working so hard to bring you the messages that we have to share with you, to teach you, to guide you, to heal you when you are ready. We come to you today to help activate your inner knowing, your inner wisdom, to push out more of the darkness that keeps you from your own soul light, that keeps you from experiencing Gaia's soul light, the way it was intended. As you gaze upon the candlelight, think of the fire of your soul. Think of the fire of Gaia's soul, the beautiful sun, her soul. As you gaze upon the candlelight, know that it has every attribute of your soul, of Gaia's soul, of the beautiful souls intertwined that we all came from, our beautiful mother and father God. Please take a moment as you gaze upon the candlelight to know deep within, to feel the warmth and the heat and the love of your soul. Feel it warming your heart center, your heart chakra. Feel it expanding out, down all the way to your root chakra. Feel it. Feel it activating, feel it. Turning on your root chakra, turning on your sacral chakra, turning on your solar plexus chakra, turning on brighter, your heart chakra, and now into your throat chakra. 
feeling the energy come up from within feeling that tightness if you have it in your throat breathe into your throat chakra feel the pressure and the energy coming up push it out nice hot breath family Let the energy rise up through and past your throat chakra, up into your head, your head cavity, up into your third eye. We will activate the third eye along with your body, your energetic, your soul, Merkaba, your own divine frequency, your soul song, your very special and very own sacred geometry. Each and every soul has their own. You are to tap in more and more to hear your soul song, to hear your individual chord, your individual frequency. As you work with this Merkaba, with this frequency, with this vibration of creation, you send out that frequency for all to hear, to feel in their own heart center. Each of you are connected. We all are connected, intertwined in this great, beautiful ball of energy. Think of your energy rising up from within, from your root to your sacral, to your solar, to your heart. Feel your heart expanding. Breathe into your heart center. Feel it opening up. Feel the flow of energy. See that beautiful green light shining so bright out, out, out around you. Feel it melting in with the energies below. Yellow and orange and red and all of them activating up into your throat chakra. Beautiful teal. Think of the sky. Think of that beautiful blue color of the sky and all the air free flowing. Think of your throat free and wide open air, life force energy passing through, nice deep breath. Start to feel your third eye activating channeling the energy from below and from above. Hot breath. Feel your soul song activating. Hear it within you. Breathe into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think back to the 
the last stargate from our last month in August when we worked together you and I back then in the lion's gate think about how we activated your Merkaba if you and the physical do not have recollection of this take yourself into a place in time where you did astrally we did work on this whether it was in a meditation that you can recall or it was in an astral in your dream state we did work on this. Think back and connect to that place in time and anchor to when we connected, when we connected to the Stargate, to the 8-8, and then the 8-18. Remember, dear ones, that we were there together. We walked into the portal together. Jesus was there too, guiding you. Remember, look at your frequency. Now at this time, please take your palms and gently put them over your eye sockets. They should fit perfectly in that space. At this time, you are going to start very gently pushing in and we will begin working with your third eye in the physical. Take a deep breath, family. You may bow your head down and push up with your palms if this is more comfortable. You may have your head straight you may have your head back. Any of these positions are suitable for this. It is truly what is most comfortable for you. This can get very intense and uncomfortable, even a little painful. Please very gently push in. Do not get ahead of yourself. Stay with me and push in at this time harder. And deep breath, you may see matrices and lights forming. Focus your energy, find the zero point within. Let what happens and what flows come to you, whatever vision, whatever faces you may see, wait until you see the zero point. It will look like a black dot in front of your eyes. It will get very bright. Push harder. Stay right there. Do not push any harder. Deep breath. Energy is coming, flowing, DMT being activated now. Bright, bright, bright in your eyes. Open your eyes, open your eyes and blink, 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 blink. Activating, activating. Blink, 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 blink. Find your zero point. Let what forms form. Keep pushing, family. Hold. Deep breath, please. Deep breath, activating. Find your ball of light. Focus on it. Hold. Focus. Push in harder. One last time, family. Push in, push in, push in. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And release now. Arms down, hands and palms together at Namaste. 
Do not blink. Hold. Hold. Deep breath. Find your zero point. Getting brighter, getting brighter, getting brighter, getting brighter, getting brighter in front of your eyes. Watch it, watch it. Zero point. And then dark once again. Focus family. Find the center, find the light. Focus. Deep breath family. The purpose for us doing this in your body is to help open the channels of communication with you and your soul. With all of us, your divine counterparts, your angelics, those of us incarnate and those of us here, those of us living co-current lives and those of us whom you will meet soon enough, you can hear us and feel us more. Feel yourself and your soul and your divine soul tribe, each and every one of you. Feel the connection and for this and by this, you will be guided and led to feel your own soul. This is how it is meant to be and to operate. You embody, you, the beautiful organic avatar connected to your soul, being driven and guided by your soul, helped by us each and every day. We are here with you, helping you always. Breathe once again. May you connect with yourself, your soul, the flame within. See that flame rising all the way from the depths the deepest of depths that you can possibly remember, rising up, connected to your root chakra, going all the way up into your third eye and above and beyond into your crown, connecting with us all, connecting with your soul. We are in a new place and time family, activated now. We have passed the tipping point, the great equalizer, the great reset. You doing this practice now on this side, so important. Activate your soul song. Remember, sit with yourself, channel us and draw your own Merkaba your own soul frequency, your sacred geometry we have been working with forever. As we put these pieces together, the song of creation of mother, father, God, themselves through us, through you, through Gaia together, A soul song so loud and pure and true. Only those and everything in the highest of vibration may connect, may live in perfect, beautiful harmony. Those who are of negative vibration, those vibrations no longer Imagine the negativity of the world gone. The darkness inside every single one gone. Everyone healthy, everyone happy, everyone living their true life purpose, helping each other naturally, gratefully, generously. True heaven on earth without oppression. True heaven on earth without pain and suffering, without hunger and disease, without 
needless casualties fighting one another turned against each other no more the truth of who you are and who I am and who everything and everyone is and everyone ever was the truth of Gaia the truth of mother father God and what you are and what you are doing here the truth that is the agenda the truth for each and every one of you we come to you as we do to help guide you so you are not alone great warriors of the light so you have guidance so you have knowing understanding so you are tapped in to the fabric to the map Thank you all deeply for being here in each and every way that you are through all places and spaces and time. We thank you for activating, for stepping up, for remembering yourselves as much as you have. It is a wondrous and beautiful thing to be a part of, to be on this side, to watch you on that side, to guide you, to see you and your progress. Beautiful. So beautiful. I am your brother, Archangel Metatron. I come to you today in love and peace to help you always. I come to you to help you recognize who and what you are, just as my beautiful sister Gabriel does, incarnate every day. Please take heed to her words and her messages. She does this selflessly. It is not for her, but for you. She so very desperately wants to help you to guide you, to heal you if you are guided so. This is what she was put there to do. This is her divine mission. We all thank you for being here. This divine, beautiful, right now moment is perfect. Is it not, dear ones? We hope you can feel your heart center expand, your third eye charged, flowing, awake, and reaching out to us to connect. We hope that you feel more grounded and held by beautiful Mother Gaia. She loves you so very much. It is nearly incomprehensible, the love that we all have for you. We wish for you all to feel that more and more each and every day. Thank you for hearing my words and feeling me, connecting with me today.
Hello, dear ones. This is Michael, your brother, Archangel Michael, coming to you to say a quick hello on this very important, momentous day. It is so beautiful. So many of you breaking through so many barriers, waking up to a new you today and tomorrow. This will be your reality. I have been with you. I have helped you and given you strength in times of despair. I am always with you. I want you to know that in these next few days, it might be more uncomfortable for you. There may be things coming up that need to be handled and released and taken care of before we enter the new time, the new month. There are not that many days left. So please remember, I am with you and to call on me. You may be feeling uh, uncomfortable in your body from your head to your toes, achy, very, very uh, tingly and charged feeling trapped energy from your head. This will be your third eye expanding. This will be your light body activating more and more. And it can be uncomfortable. Some of you may get physically ill with what is better known as cold or flu. You are merely detoxifying and acclimating to the new energies, especially if you have participated in this activation that we have done here today. So please know that you will need to, for lack of a better term, suck it up much is coming and much needs to be cleared in and outside of yourself. Know that you will be tested in these next few days. Remember, dear ones, we are in a time of opposition to arise, to get to be the places that you need to be. So you will be tested from within and from without. Please breathe deep and understand. Don't be distracted by the chaos. See things for what they are. Breathe deeply often. Lay down and sleep if needed. Call in sick. Go home. Don't drive. Don't eat the things you normally eat if they make you feel unwell, and they will. Some of you may notice that very quickly after eating certain foods, especially certain very very negatively charged foods, that you will feel sick nauseous. You may even throw up. Some of you may swear you have some type of food poisoning and this is not the case. This is merely your body unable to handle these energies, especially at this time. So please, we beg of you, don't put yourself through this. Avoid meats, avoid heavy foods, drink lots of water, eat fruit, Suspend diets that are heavy in energy. You may consider more of a liquid diet in these next few days. Simple starches, oats, nuts, fruits, grains. If you find yourself uncomfortable, please call on me. I will help you, as will Gabriel and Raphael and Metatron and all of us. Jesus and Gaia, we are all with you, your own personal spirit tribe, whomever you choose to communicate with and talk to your own higher self, most definitely. 
Remember, we are all here to help you be more comfortable in any moment that you need it. All you need to do is ask. Ask to be guided to what you should and shouldn't eat if you're confused. If you don't know what you should be doing, ask. Be guided. Stop. No, you are only in a rush if you put yourself there. But no, still, in your reality, time does march on. In your reality, you are catching up to a higher place in time, as was explained to you. It is important to keep your energy in that higher state of vibration where you already are energetically. These are the times in which you may slip out of time into different time lines and places that are not of the highest vibration. It is up to you to navigate, to go higher, to aim higher, to arise. To ascend. We are here for you. It is our purpose. Pure and simple. Please utilize us. Call on us. We love you dearly. We are your family. Without any agenda. But the betterment of your own life. Your health. Your healing. And that of Gaia. And your place in that. The big fabric of creation and time. That's it. That is all we want for you and for us all. Thanks for listening to me and receiving my messages. I am Archangel Gabriel. I love you so much. I will see and be with you soon as always. I love you. Hey there, family. It's Infinity, and I want to thank you for joining us all on this beautiful equinox to celebrate a new place and time that Gaia, Metatron, and Michael all spoke on. I hope you feel as balanced and as gooey with love as I do. It is always such a blessing. And I'm always so grateful to receive their amazing divine energies. My water has gotten quite chilly. (laughs) Actually, not as bad as it could be. My body is very warm right now. I hope yours is too. This whole day has been quite magical and I want to thank you for being here, for offering and lending your time and your energy and your love and your connectedness to us all. Please call on any of us as needed, as you are guided. Please remember I am here for you in the flesh so you can speak to me anytime you desire. That is why I'm here. And I love you all so much. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget. The key is to create. And I love you already. Bye, guys.